Hello and welcome to my third weekend vlog. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. Just on a walk with Benji. Just been to the vets as well. Haven't we Benji? Try and get some food and some medication as usual because he needs it for his allergies. He needs stuff for his eyes. It's a bit awkward this vlogging like. Especially for someone like me who's not got any confidence in himself because this is one of the reasons that I'm doing it because I want to sort of build my confidence a bit. Uh, so I just had to stop because someone was walking past. <laughs> Going to Manchester. Hopefully we'll uh, get some stuff to do. Couldn't vlog straight away from the car as soon as I left off because as you could tell Benji was falling asleep on me so I couldn't really, couldn't really do much. Oh, I hate this man. God, this is on my pants. For the first time in probably a long time, Bench has saved us some money. We don't have to get his uh, food, what's like £3 a tin. So he can eat whatever he wants until he's had his surgery. Because that's what's happening this Thursday. He's going to be having his surgery, aren't you? So enjoy five days of cheaper food until it probably gets expensive again. I'm a bit nervous about Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Just dropped Benji off at his Auntie Lindsay's. So we've got him his food from Pets at Home. Um, I hate it when I say that. <laughs> yeah, we've dropped a uh, YouTuber brand. No, just lighting. It's not very good. <laughs> just get me arms out. Um, <laughs> Turn right <laughs> onto 858. What was that? Um, I've just um, seen um, Listen. Um, <laughs> What was that program where they had like say a word loads than each other? Was it like Borgies? Was it SMTV? Yeah. God, we're old. No, it was Dick and Dom. What's happened to Saturday morning um, children's? Oh, not um. What happened to Saturday morning TV children's? T I can't talk. Children's TV programs. What has happened to Saturday children's TV <laughs> programs? So he's a Saturday morning. Okay, Saturday morning. Where's Cat Daly gone? I don't know, she's in America doing something. Should we film Daniel Beddingfield? <laughs> Daniel Beddingfield! <laughs> Go on, we're going to edit that out. Now we are going to sunny Manchester.
just been in Byron Burger. Amazing. The Byron Burger, absolutely amazing. It's our first time as well, it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. No, because we was going to go Wagamama's and it's like about Ooh, it's 40 free. quid. The though. football museum's free. Ooh. Is it? Right, yeah. so uh, yeah, we're going in the uh, football museum now. <laughs> I went to my first. Finally got out of the game. Best customer service ever, as you can tell by my face. Look how red it is. We're going to be about 90 degrees in though. Oh my word. Literally, it's, it's just Manchester. For some reason, Manchester games are just awful. Literally, the guy wanted to chat his life story, everything. <laughs> To like every customer, there was at one point he was just chatting to a customer for about 20 minutes. If you have a good game, don't go to a game in Manchester or Trafford Centre because they never have the games that you want and the customer service is just appalling. So if you ever want to go a game, go to the one in Wigan. It's so much better, it's smaller and better. Has so much of a better game collection and better customer service by far. Apparently, this is men's world. Ooh. We have a rack. And then back to women's clothes. It's a funny men's work.
finally uh, left Manchester now. Primark was an experience, <laughs> never again. It was the worst experience of my life. It actually wasn't though because I was very quick. It was a queue that was long. Quick? And then, no, that is quick, right? And I would spend all day in there. I zoomed around, I didn't do messing about. I bought what I needed. But that queue, oh my god, so long. We were two hours in Primark. Two hours. Yeah, but like 45 minutes or something came in and it's three floors. That is good. And you know what it is? The, the mistake that they make is one, there's two levels to women's clothing. But what I don't get is why Primark is so big, the same top, ten times around the shop. Why? You should just What's do everything in black. What's the point? The mistake I made was shopping with a woman in Primark. It takes so long. Because women are like this like oh, yeah. zigzag operation. Whereas men with a shop, they be like, right, that's it, I'm done. Can we acknowledge the fact that I did not want one in any of your smelly, sweaty, be your men shops? Yeah, but that's the thing with men shops. They might be small, they're but awful. they're appropriate men because men just go in and go out even like me today i didn't have a clue what i wanted i was like i just went in and just spotted something i was like right, i'll have that and yeah but right. how long were you queuing in game ages yeah but the queuing's not my problem is it the queuing in primark weren't mine you spent ages walking around before you queued up because it's it's massive to look at stuff, you physically... I didn't stop and look at one thing for ages. I walked around everything and did a quick dash of a look. But because it's so big... Like, check how many steps we've done today. I had good Costa. Because oh, I feel that sorry bored. for you. I feel sorry for you. It's just hard work. Me? Yeah. You're, like, kicking off. No, I'm not. They, why do people not know? This is my voice. It really annoys me. Paul's back from his paddy pants. Needs a nappy and a dummy. Kelly was trying to say that it was banter. It wasn't. Amy gets the banter. No, I thought it could on. Anyway, absolutely knackered and rightly so because we've done about 10. I've just checked the pedometer and we've done 10,065 steps. Absolutely. In today's vlog here, uh, absolutely knackered. Got Benji. Hello, Benji. Hello, Benji. So, I hope you enjoyed this weekend's vlog. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and turn the notifications on so then you know when the video is being posted. And don't forget to share with your friends, family, your neighbor on Facebook, YouTube, whatever, any sort of social media, basically. And I'll see you next weekend, okay?